Elon Musk has been trying to set his starship in motion, but hasn't been successful so far. But what's standing in the way of the man who's done what he wanted for so long? Keep watching this video for all the details on the obstacles Musk is facing in launching his space vehicle. So what's stopping Musk's starship launch? Elon Musk, who's currently the richest man in the world, seems to have used his influence to get his way in many things. This guy launched a Tesla into space because he felt like it, renamed an entire street as Rocky Road, and chose to overlook coronavirus restrictions because he didn't want to lose business. But even Musk is struggling in getting his latest ambition approved by the relevant authorities. He wants to launch his beloved rocket ship called Starship. The hindrance comes from the Federal Aviation Administration and could last months to even years. And no matter what he tweets, it seems like Musk can't bulldoze past this regulation. But Musk still has what many with the same kind of financial backing as him don't, the ability to make people listen to what he says. In his latest press conference, the SpaceX CEO spoke at the company's launch site near South Texas. He said that he feels a weakness within our civilization as it is. He then went on to propose a solution, building a city on Mars. Behind him was a charcoal black spaceship atop a giant rocket made of steel. That was a prototype for Musk's reusable spaceship Starship. This is a bit of a conundrum for Musk. He could either do all in his power to make 2022 the year of spaceships and rockets, or he could let the momentum stall. The TED Talk he gave recently seemed like an indirect message to the authorities that the future of space enterprise rests on its decision. So what remains remains to be seen is what Musk does next in pursuit of a space-centric future. Furthermore, the FAA's decision following Musk's future attempts also remain as a topic of interest among Musk fans and those who are into space development. Why is the FAA against the launch of Starship? Many are wondering exactly what's motivating the Federal Aviation Administration to stop an ambitious man in his footsteps. The organization's officials have spoken about the restrictions being imposed. Musk's rocket ship Starship is planned to be launched into space with planet Mars as its destination. Destination. However, the national organization responsible for approving such launches has not greenlit the project. According to FAA officials, Musk won't be allowed to go ahead with the launch until the department confirms that it's safe for the environment and until the licensing process has been completed. In fact, environmentalists in the Texan region where the launch is hoped to take place are also concerned about the impacts on the atmosphere. The area is already facing irreversible environmental harm from countless rocket launches and fiery explosions that come with them. About the restrictions, Musk said, that he's expecting an approval by the end of March, when the FAA's reports on the rocket ship are going to come out. While Musk didn't hold back from calling his vehicle a holy grail breakthrough, and one which will provide the world with a complete and reusable rocket system, many aren't convinced that his invention is as magnificent as he's making it out to be. For many, Musk's proposal to simply shift humanity to Mars, instead of facing the problems back home, is an unrealistic solution to our issues, especially considering the financial burden such a shift could pose on a population with severe class differences. It seems to many that Musk is only trying to salvage from destruction those who can afford it. And that goes to raise questions about Musk's true intentions behind the plan to colonize other planets. Does he care about humanity, or is he only after profits? Should Musk succeed, his space enterprise will essentially be a monopoly, with only one or two individuals he would be worried about, take Bezos for example. And with such unchecked power in his hands, who's to say he won't exploit it like the many before him? Whenever Musk's plans to inhabit planets other than Earth come up, there's a mixed reaction. So. Is it possible that the FAA is also taking similar arguments into account? Are they trying to stop a monopoly from forming? Those are certainly interesting things to think about. In other news, Musk donated billions of dollars worth of Tesla shares to charity. In November last year, Tesla founder Elon Musk donated about $5.7 billion worth of shares to charity, just a couple days after the United Nations World Food Program revealed how a $6 billion donation could help combat world hunger. The donation was publicized in a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The report showed a gift of over $5 billion in the form of Tesla shares by its founder. The filing doesn't list the organization to which Musk has made the donation, but noted that a trust was involved in the transactions that took place on November 19th. Based on the average prices of the share currently, the donations amounted to about $5.7 billion. Musk's donations came just as he was selling his shares to cover taxes on the exercise of options set to expire in August of this year. Before the donations, Musk was also part of a Twitter exchange with the executive director of the World Hunger Program, David Beasley. Beasley had told CNN during October last year that a $6 billion donation from the likes of Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos could solve the critical problem of world hunger. Musk then took to Twitter to challenge Beasley's claims. He told him that if Beasley could prove how the sum would solve the problem of world hunger, he would sell his Tesla stock on the spot and make a donation. Beasley made sure to get back to Musk with an elaborate plan. And even though Musk hasn't confirmed where the donations have gone, many think it's for the same purpose 
as expressed by the WFP Insider, got a statement out of Beasley who said, There are millions of people around the world on the brink of starvation. Whether WFP receives any of this money, it is yet to be seen. But I'm excited to hear that Elon is engaged. This is an amazing and great first step. Next, Musk has been sued by LA authorities over this issue. Not Musk himself, but his company Tesla is under fire for alleged employee discrimination. According to LA authorities, hundreds of complaints of discrimination have been filed by Musk's employees working for Tesla. The lawsuit was also filed as such. Apparently, the authorities have also run a three-year investigation on the company. It was found that the company operates in a racially segregated manner. In fact, black workers are subjected to racial slurs and different treatment at the workplace. They're also discriminated against in terms of pay, promotion, and discipline. The authorities aim to keep all workplaces free of discrimination and harassment. The lawsuit against the company claims that all employees are not treated equally, and some are underpaid and aren't given the same opportunities of growth as others. Tesla also issued a response to the lawsuit. The company claims that it avoids all kinds of discrimination and that the company tries its best to make the environment free of harassment and any kind of mistreatment of the employees. Up next, Musk's brain chip company is also under fire for these allegations. Neuralink is the company founded by Elon Musk to design brain chips that'll connect human brains with computers. In recent days, the new firm has come under fire for alleged animal cruelty. A complaint that was filed the previous week claimed that the company is practicing cruelty on macaque monkeys. These monkeys are being used for the testing of this technology. In a blog that was released by the company, it was claimed that these monkeys were indeed being utilized. However, the firm has also said that the monkeys are dealt with in the most humane and ethical manner possible. Human trials of the device are expected to start later this year. Neuralink also highlighted its own support for the welfare of animals in the blog. The company said that one of its aims is developing an animal care program that prioritizes the well-being of animals instead of simply focusing on human advancement alone. But what were these allegations even based on? Surely something must have been noticed. Apparently, Neuralink's initial chips induced trauma and seizures in the animals it tested on. Nothing has been confirmed, but those who have filed the complaint have claimed that the company was not being ethical at all in the treatment of the macaque monkeys. The cages that they were kept in also caused facial trauma. It's yet to be confirmed whether these claims are true, but for now, Neuralink has denied all these allegations. Let's see when something concrete comes out. That was it for today's video. What are your thoughts on Musk's recent activities, such as his attempts at launching Starship? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we post similar videos quite frequently. We will see you in the next one.